Oh, hey. I hope everyone's having a lovely pandemic. I'm currently back home. I figure with everyone going back out being singles, I'm gonna teach you how to film yourself rowing. There's a few ways to do it, and I've tried to film this video a few times. Last time, some Karen had a power trip. All right, this will take longer than I thought. Say hi. I've got my boat. You know, since everyone's gonna be out in singles by themselves for a fair amount of time, I'm gonna take you through a few ways that I've filmed myself rowing over the past year. Here's what I did. So this is my bag of tricks. So the most common thing, a GoPro. I have the Hero 8 and I have a bunch of different mounts for it. I have a 360 camera. This is the new GoPro Max, but it has some of the coolest footage. And of course, the drone. This lighting makes my shoulders look huge. So the GoPro, this is the easiest thing to film yourself with. And that's because of all the mounts it comes with. Right here, I have a bite mount. If I turn it on, I can talk, but it's not as easy. Having something in your mouth, not good for rowing and breathing. Makes sense. We get a really cool view, like this. The next most common would be a head mount. The head mount pops right around. Your every movement noticed, the GoPro can kind of fix that. The big thing is you don't have to think about it anymore. It just sticks on top of your head. You get some looks. It is, it is what it is. You get a really cool view. I had this on in the bow seat of the commercial Latex. So much fun. Great race to watch back. So this gets a lot of first person view. Now it's not as low as the mouth mount. That's where a chest mount will come in. They move so much. So I don't really wear them. The next one that I used the absolute most last year, bar mount and the 360 swivel. You can mount it and spin it and get a bunch of different views. So on the back stay, what I had it on so much last year, you don't have to worry about it. These things are really clamped tight, so it will never fall off. You can also get a pretty cool view by putting it on the end of an oar, but it's really hard to row with it. So again, it's not something you want on there, but it's something that you, you can do. You'll just have to row one blade square. It's not actually too bad. Record, do one of these. It's a really big selfie stick too. Welcome to my home. So that's a different view. And putting it on an oar would be very uh, disruptive to practice. But if you're rowing in singles and you can do whatever you want, you can do that. And then the famous and infamous GoPro suction cup mount. And then stick it to the boat. It usually doesn't come off. Probably one of the best combos. You could put it pretty much on all up and down the boat. And no matter what kind of boat you have, there's usually some flat surface to use. Push it in, boom, won't move. Put around, tied to the backstay, tied somewhere else. GoPros are wide enough that you can get the entire thing. Fantastic, we love that. One of the coolest pieces of technology that GoPro has made and a lot of other cameras, 360 camera. Because when you record with a stick that's smaller than the width of the lenses, stick it to the boat and it basically floats. So it's like a floating camera. It's pretty cool and it stays out of the way. I'm gonna connect with my phone, turn this baby on. So you'll see Nah, we'll connect to this one. Connecting to my phone allows me to actually see what it sees. Switch it to 360 mode and you can see this looks super cool. But the GoPro stick disappears. So this, you don't actually see this. Like my hand kind of disappears. The footage you actually get from it is bar none some of the coolest stuff you can get. And using the app is a lot easier. So that's an option if you really want to spend a lot of time editing and spend a lot of time working with this. but. Using the GoPro app is pretty easy. You know, I am risking a bunch of technology, but in the 10 years I've been rowing singles, I've only ever flipped three times. One on purpose, one because it was the week I learned how to row the single, and one time because my coach waked me out on purpose. And to show you how I actually feel myself flying the drone, I'm gonna replace this with the GoPro, and we'll, uh, we'll see me in a second. Usually docks are a lot lower. Here I am sat in the middle of the water, just doing my thing. So getting the drone ready requires having a, a lot of confidence and a lot of balance. So I usually go out and fly with three batteries. Then you get your controller set up. So I'll hop into my phone. All right, we got a DJI 4. So now the drone is ready. And I'm looking at three cameras. One, two, three. And I could be looking at my 360, but. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. And just like that, I now have a drone up in the air while I'm rowing. The hardest part now is actually rowing and filming at the same time. So if I stop recording, go here. And look at that, it's right on me. And just like that, I'm now tracked onto myself. So when I hit go, it'll follow me. I'm at the finish, do my thing. It pulls the exact width of my oars. 
and I take one stroke, a little scrape, and boom. And look, it watched me go. And then when I'm out in the middle of a river, you know, it starts following me around. So there's not a lot of rowing that gets done. Just like that, I've got myself a nice rotating camera. One of the big issues with this is uh, battery life. So you don't actually get that much battery life as what people might think. You know, uh, the new DJI Mavic Air has come out with a half hour battery life per battery, which is insane. When I first built my first drone, that thing had about five minutes of battery before it started dying. And those are pretty giant batteries. Now this one, I can carry it in my backpack, it's insane. That's flying with the drone. Now, as you might be able to tell, the battery's starting to die. Stop the active track, just fly it over to me. And just like that, you can fly a drone while you row. The only issue is you can't flip. You can't have any kind of issue. You gotta trust yourself fully, but you get some really sweet shots out of it. Was that ah so sweet and then of course you know you have your gopros 360 cameras and you have your drones and you can set up a camera on the side and row by it a bunch but everyone has a phone and everyone's phone usually has pretty solid camera but it's really hard to film yourself rowing with one hand you can get your classic instagram shots and all that fun stuff you know look how far i've rowed and blah 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 and you know i'm out in the middle of the water and you know, here I am doing my thing, blah, blah, blah. Your hashtag rowing influencer shots, what we're about. You're gonna need someone on the side to film you or you're gonna need uh, some other equipment to make it a little easier. like that I, uh, I've officially filmed myself rowing. So yeah, there's a lot of ways to film yourself rowing. Obviously the GoPro is easiest, the 360 is unnecessary, the drone highly unnecessary and you don't get a lot of actual training with it. You do so get some cool stuff. The easiest way to film yourself rowing is to have someone else do it. Doing it by yourself takes a lot of time, takes a lot of energy and you don't spend all the time you should training. So you really should have someone else on the coach's launch, on land, if they have a nice zoomed in camera, somewhere other than yourself. Then it goes to the regular GoPro, stick it on the rigger, stick it on a suction cup in front, and then it comes unnecessary things like the 360 camera, which is still sweet, and you can use apps to help look at your stuff better. And then finally, you don't need the drone, but it is nice to have. I figured I'd be able to have one or two expert tips to, to put in to people's practice if they want to film themselves rowing. You know, I'm not sure when we're gonna be able to do crew boats again. You know, countries are starting to open back up, but yeah, you know, we'll see. I'm gonna actually go train now, so make sure you uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that fun stuff. Help me out, I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers so I can start possibly live streaming. Who knows, could be cool, see ya. I spent way too much time filming myself and not enough time actually rowing. Beers, can you start and stop the uh, camera? Let me ask for help when I'm teaching a video on how to film yourself rowing. That's stupid, don't say that.